you see some of my photos of many years as wonderful as those photos are you see some of us looking lean we look better than those days now but those are the days that made these days hallelujah emptying yourself in prayer emptying yourself in fasting raising the bar of your fire and your passion even when you are doing well you increase the bar of the marking script as if you are not doing anything hear me my dear generation hear me don't settle for less don't settle too cheap there are heights and the journey is far remember my teaching last week I challenge you on this wise and I'm still repeating it again when it's time to announce the US conference I will tell you a very serious miracle that God did it is there are things that when God does it just keeps you in awe hallelujah let me tell you sincerely sincerely and I'm saying this openly there is no one pound one euro that has been sent already for this conference every money that has been used to do everything so far has been the lavish giving of God's people with joy in their hearts in spite of the limitation we don't have an account provided yet and people have squeezed in to say I can't wait when when you stay and it builds you don't worry about supplies don't worry about a name don't worry about where you will get the donkey for the triumphant entry just make sure that your your gift and your talent is developed in one day god can open up a door someone can come and sing one song and the whole nation to place a demand on you in one day god can put you somewhere as a politician and as a businessman a dear woman i can't remember her name now i met her when i went to preach for my dear friend pastor kingsley in lagos and i meet this woman and she starts to tell me her story very touching story it's possible she's even watching or may get to hear this and what took her to the white house was moi moi making moi moi that's what scaled her till she got to the white house until today she's still doing it she shared with me her story and i was so touched i remember discussing with pastor kingsley's wife i said you will have to do a documentary for this woman incredible anything can lift you if you refine it admiring people and wishing if i were more beautiful god knows if since you are not esther be something else you are not esther be deborah at least be something wishing you were esther is a waste of time if you cannot be the queen that king ahasuerus will marry then be deborah the warrior then be naomi then be this if you cannot be gideon be elijah if you cannot be elijah be samuel since you cannot fight learn how to prophesy but by all means make sure you do something can i tell you what god has put in your hand is enough to open the gates of your destiny listen to me thank god for those who have what you do not have but stop this season of blind admiration that makes you to demean what you have everybody can celebrate what you carry you just have not recognized it and refined it anything in its crude version is not worthy of being rewarded i know you are a great musician thank god for um david dam and sam and k strings and all these my precious people thank god for their lives but do you know that what god has put in you someday you can stand and share the stage and also celebrate jesus but it's good to be challenged by other people's giftings but please not at the detriment of what god gave you thank god for apostle joshua selman but what you are seeing is a refined version of something you may even have a greater version of anything looks bad when it is not refined including oil 
go and ask those who work in the oil and gas sector when you see oil in its raw and crude state the smell alone will drive you away you almost want to suffocate yet that's what cars will queue for for hours and say thank you for paying can i tell you this god has already scheduled your destiny helper i have taught you your destiny helper kept visiting you but he found you in jealousy and anger not working on yourself and they were authorized to go back i hope this year they will not come again and still find you who is still giving excuses and blaming demons and saying it's because my father was a drunkard that may not be the best but now that you know he's like that what do you have to do years ago i read a story and i've shared it many times while we're in zaria a man who raised two children was not a very responsible man unfortunately and he raised two children one would later become uh, a very bad person a nuisance to society and the other would grow to be some sort of businessman very responsible man and one time they had the opportunity to interview both of them and they asked the bad angry person why are you like that and he says what do you expect with the kind of father i had that was his excuse why are you bad and bringing trouble to society say what do you expect with the kind of father i had they now ask his successful brother why are you like this and say he's also answered the same way what do you expect with the kind of father i had for one person his father's negative situation was a challenge that made him say if i came from a poor family a poor family would not come out of me it was a determination for another person he kept blaming some of you today will never rise because you are blaming everybody in your life they didn't help me i have an uncle somewhere i even saw him the other day buying cars for his children and not for me that is a, a mediocre excuse repent today and get back to work hold on the steering of your destiny with the determination of one who is working with god and begin to drive your life to a place of purpose it is not because you came from a bad family i don't downplay the pain that you came from but or, or you or you pass through let me tell you there are many people who went to 10 times worse than experience than you and they have been able to reinvent themselves and to rise hallelujah those who came first know best it is the lofty sessions on faith essence and life take what you need and be blessed